would you almost get that bikini? I wear a size 10, but a size 8 looks so good. I bought a size 6. Uh, excuse me, but didn't we promise not to bother with men? We did, but there's no reason why I can't let them know what they're missing. Is that uh, the, the costume you're going to wear to the party tonight? Don't be silly. I couldn't eat dinner in this. Everything would show. <laughs> Very exhausting. Good Lord, what time is it? Eight o'clock. Care to know the month? Sue Ann. <laughs> Those Frenchmen, crazy! Wee oui, wee! Oui. Sue Ann, what happened to you? <laughs> They're so sophisticated, so, so artistic. Sue Ann, you're plastered. One does not get plastered on champagne. One really loses one's inhibition. Oh, that did it. <laughs> what did Armand Melo do to you? I think he loves me. He's going to paint my picture. Oh, that really did it. <laughs> Imagine me on canvas. When you listen to me, Now, Marge, it's that Gary Underwood. None of this would have happened if it hadn't been for him. The phone call, the senator losing his pants, and you and that Frenchman. Well, we've got to get her out of here, that's all. No, 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 you don't. I love Armand, and I'm not going to go anywhere. <laughs> she loves him. That's worse on the inhibitions than champagne. You're going to bed, young lady. Now, Sue Ann, you're both jealous because you don't have men to love. Well... If you just take off that suit of armor, Joan of Arc, and stop stepping on men like they were bugs, maybe you'd find one. And you too. <laughs> Do you like 